Did you know that there's no human who could possibly fold a piece of bond paper for more than seven times by half? Not a lot of people know this, so it is often used as a challenging truth or dare games during party. At first glance, you might think it's even easy and even think it's child's play after your first confident fold. Your second and third folds indicate you're the kings and queens of geometry. Fourth fold is met with reassuring nods from the origami overlord. But then, my friends, the tides of fortune shift. The fifth fold arrives and with it, the paper transforms from a cooperative sheet to a mini protest rally against our audacious aspirations. As you cross into the realm of the sixth fold, we confront the inescapable truth the paper has become a formidable adversary. It's as if it's decided that we've trespassed into forbidden territory and it's prepared to engage in an all-out battle. A crumpled battlefield is all that remains a testament to the valiant struggle of paper versus perseverance. The seventh fold is where dreams go to be humbled. By now, our valiant sheet is no longer a vessel of potential. It's a battleground of creases and chaos. The paper, worn and Weary has made its final declaration. It refuses to comply, standing for a minute's mission to teach us a cosmic lesson in humility. In theory, you could fold paper for more than seven times, but the piece of paper should be large enough. In fact, if you fold paper 42 times, a piece of paper would be able to reach the moon. If you fold it 103 times, the piece of paper will already be as thick as the universe.